Hey everyone, Kaban Armani456 here recording another video. So yeah, today giving you another um actually what am I talking about giving another news update? Uh today we're gonna be doing What's new on the Nintendo 3DS eShop? So yeah, let's get started. So uh yeah, I'm recording this video right now and uh you know I didn't record it yesterday because um the eShop was under maintenance for some reason and it didn't start working till like 12 o'clock p.m. So that's why I'm recording it today on Friday. But uh, anyway, bum 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 ba bum 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 ba. So uh, yeah, how's everyone doing? Um, you know, I've been really busy. School, making news updates. I uh, just finished a portrait right now that actually is gonna like earn me around a hundred bucks. So uh, yeah, and um, I'm gonna be buying an HD camcorder so that I can record HD videos of uh, Sonic Generations and. Um, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword and um, Uncharted 3 later this year if I win that PS3 in the contest. But anyway, uh, let's get started. So, anyway, these are the top sellers right here. Let's check this out. And number one, well, the first one shown in the list, if this thing will f finish loading, is Link's Awakening for DX. So, yeah, really good game, Super Mario Land. Actually, Link's Awakening DX is such a full fledged Zelda game. It's like bigger than um, the Zelda games on the DS. Like, it's so big. Like, it's a it's a really full game. Let's Golf 3D is a good seller. Uh, Kirby's Dream Land, Ghost Series 10 Second Run, Mario's Pie Cross, Plants vs. Zombies, Donkey Kong, Photo Dojo, Anonymous Notes Chapter 1, uh, From the Abyss, 3D Classic, Xevious, Inchworm Animation, so this would be really good, like I've said before, like Footnote Studio, but instead you actually have different types of color and stuff. You can kind of go more advanced. And Footnote Studio does not work on the 3DS, so that's one reason why this is really cool. Um, Cave Story, Mario vs. Donkey Kong Minis March Again, Avenging Spirit, yeah. Tetris Party Live, 3D Classics Excite Bike, Shantae Risky's Revenge, Game & Watch Gallery, and Bomberman Blitz. And one thing you notice is that un un um, Urban Champion is not there. This is staff pick of the week. Because Urban Champion actually kind of sucks. So we've already seen f picked the video of this. It's seven bucks. Really good game. Basically um, an Apple iOS port. But uh, it has 3D. And it's a really good 3D actually. Like kind of subtle. But um, works well. Party to the people. Thank you. Okay, so let's see what this game, these games are. Must be like multiplayer. Yeah, Air Race, Bomberman Blitz, Downtown Texas Hold'em, Mixed Messages, and yeah, I'm actually, I actually lived in Texas for like six years, which is why some people say I have a Texas accent on YouTube. I don't, didn't really know I do, did, did, but anyway. Pop Island Paperfield, Pop Island, Clubhouse Games Express, Family Favorites, um, Express Strategy Pack, I'm te anti up Texas Hold'em Poker, Clubhouse Games, Texas Hold'em Up, te World Poker Tour, Texas Hold'em, uh, Mini 101 Mini Golf World, Spot the Difference. So yeah, those are the games for Party to the People. Uh, we have Star Fox 64 3D, and we have a new video. So yeah, like I've said, I'm going to do a walkthrough on this game. Already pre-ordered it, so definitely. I'm really excited about this game. Here's a new video showing all the new battle modes and items. It's really freaking awesome, like, just how beautiful this game is. And you can watch these trailers in 3D, in case you didn't know that. So, uh, as you can kind of see here, it'll kind of look blurry. Oh, wow. Hey, you can see me in the background, like in the glare. So, let me shut my app.
so yeah, it looks pretty awesome. And uh, sorry, there's kind of a bit of a glare on the screen. Um, kind of a different setting because, like I said, I just finished a portrait. Kind of sprayed some stuff on it. And I have a ton of very, very strong fumes in my room right now. Could probably choke and kill me. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, now let's go to the virtual console. Some uh, brand new games. Well, brand new game. And this is from Capcom. Gargoyle's Quest. So obviously, as you know, I will not be playing a video of it, and thankfully there isn't a video of it, because Capcom screws you over so many freaking times! It's sick. So, anyway, uh, let's just check out the pictures. Uh, the bottom screen just has that there. But, uh, yeah. It's supposed to be a Game Boy game. Got, um, it's supposed to be really fun. Got some good ratings. Uh, IGN gave it an 8.5, I believe, or an 8. So, uh, it's gotta be good. Should be good. Because, I mean, IGN's kind of critical on games like this. But, um, a long time ago, the Goal Realm barely escaped great peril. A large army of powerful beings called Destroyers came from a neighboring universe, overpowering the creatures of the Goal Realm. Just when everyone had given up hope, a great fire swept over the realm, wiping out the Destroyers' army. Several hundred years have passed, and the realm is threatened once again as a gargoyle firebrand you are destined to become the Red Blaze, the same powerful force that fought back the Destroyer so long ago. Now, you must traverse the Goal Realm and build your powers and abilities as you prepare to take on the Destroyers, King Bregger, and ensure the protection of the Goal Realm. Capcom, one-player adventure platformer, English, and mild fantasy violence for the E-rated game. Uh, kind of that, just what the Gargoyles and all, kind of reminds me of that old Disney show, Gargoyles. That show was awesome. I always loved watching it in my childhood, you know. Uh, just like getting ready to go to bed and watching it. But uh, yeah, that's the Zelda 25th anniversary. And a lot of people requested me to show this video. So, here it is. Make your own Zelda flip note video. And I'm going to go on and show it to you because a lot of people requested me to do this. I didn't see the point because, I mean, you have to have a DSi or DSi XL. But I guess some people just kind of wanted it. I don't know. But um, here we go. And it's actually pretty good. I mean, it's alright. I've done better with the Zelda artwork on my DSi and DSi XL, but, uh, you know, it's alright. I mean, it, it's, I mean, because I've been drawing for like 10 years, like, actually longer than that, probably around 13 years. I mean, but this is good for basics if you just want to know the basics on how to draw it on a touch screen like this. And this is my favorite music. Oh, but uh, if you do want to check out my artwork, um, you can always uh, go to, um, I believe, Blip TV has some of my artwork on there. And uh, a lot of people actually, kind of, some people actually dislike my videos because uh, they think I trace. And because, I mean, my artwork is just so good. I mean, I've been drawing for so many years. And sometimes I kind of feel that I have to kind of like alter artwork that I do to kind of not make it look exactly as original because I get so many like people accusing me of tracing and I've just been drawing for a long time but uh you know this is still pretty good pretty good tutorial and a lot of my background pictures have actually been artwork I've done Currently, right now, one of my fans did my background, but um, I usually put up my artwork as my background, so on my YouTube channel.
Now the picture here that they show is actually quite good to be honest. For like DSI touchscreen, I mean it's pretty good. Oh yeah, and just to let everyone know, um, wait a second, oh yeah, this is pretty awesome. It's pretty funny, actually. I, think I've, I don't think I've ever seen that. So, uh, yeah, um, Shigeru Miyamoto and Iji Anuma are actually going to be um, judges for the artwork that um, is um, submitted to this whole uh, contest right there. Then they have the applications right here. I haven't done what's new on the Nintendo video for a while. It's just kind of random to where I don't have the time to do it all the time, and it'll just add videos randomly. So, single player, I'm loving it. I don't know. We've seen a lot of stuff like this already. Um, we'll probably check. I'll choose three. I guess we'll just do action and adventure awaits. Shantae Risky's Revenge. Yeah, it's just basically it's a ton of stuff we've seen already. But they just add new category names. I mean, which is why I'm just kind of showing the cat. Which is why I'm showing on most of them the category names alone, and then sometimes going to actually show you the games. But uh. Yeah, Earthworm Jim supposed to be a pretty good game, I guess. At least from what I've heard. Friend, oh, <laughs> I didn't know what that was. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Carjack Streets, <laughs> Antipole, Kung Fu Dragon, Pop Island Paperfield, Bird and Beans. <laughs> that gangsta game. What we're playing, we'll go on and check that because they always kind of update this anyway. So, Urban Champion, supposed to be really from... Wait a second, how the heck? How the heck has it gotten four and a half stars? It's supposed to be one of the like most hated Nintendo f fighting games. It was like their first one, but Birds and Beans, Australian Farm, Samurai Defender. Who would play that? Come on. Drift Circuit, Keeks, that's it. Alright, and uh, let's see, get your game on, I guess we'll check this one. Kind of a new section. Dragon's Lair 2 Time Warp. It's kind of loading right now. Eight bucks. This is mostly a game, I think these games are supposed to be like, supposed to have movie cutscenes, I believe, from Dragon's Lair, I believe, or TV cutscenes. can't recall if it's a movie or TV, but it's supposed to be mostly like quick time events, I think, so... If you're interested in that stuff like that, then go on and try it out. Don't feed the animals. I think that's supposed to be pretty good. Like, a little good. Quick game to play. Big Bass Arcade. Everyday Soccer. Pro Jumper. Drift Street International. Fortified Zone. Kung Fu Dragon. B Team Episode 2. Ice and Venom. Oh, interesting. Spot the difference. Flight Control. Oh! Troll Border. Boom Boom Squares, alright, Dracula Undead Awakening, that's it for this section, get your game on, exercise your brain, one of the nine favorites coming soon, retail games, I guess we'll check these last two, ex exercise your brain, yeah, and it's like Brain Age Express Math, which is stuff that's actually free with the DSi XL, Brain Age Arts and Letters, that's free I believe, Brain Challenge, don't know what the heck that is, Brain Age Express Sudoku, Frenzic, and Sudoku Challenge. 
But the Brain Age games are really good. Pretty creative, so I'm not gonna check that. We already check that, like, every week. It's kind of like the same baloney. <laughs> oh! Hello! New games coming this week to the... New games coming soon to Nintendo eShop. Pac-Man. House MD Blue Mini. Okay. Go Series Fishing Resort. Golf. Well, of course, Mario. Ta Puzzle Rocks. Dot Man. Oh, hello. Let's check this out. Sorry, I love super car Like, it's got like a supercar or something. It like, looks like a Toyota, but... Uh, I guess I'll check it. I don't know. Oh, suggested themes. Hello. <laughs> I'm joking. Hopefully this is not Capcom. Please just tell me it's DSiWare. Thank you. Don't tell me. Please don't tell me. Thank God it's not Capcom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. That spotlight's checking her out. <laughs> Alright, that was kind of funny. The gameplay doesn't look anything like the cover. It's kind of usual with games like this. They were where they showed this lady showing off her boobs or her butt. And they just have like some of the crappiest looking gameplay. So, actually I don't know if it's crappy, but I mean it doesn't look interesting to be honest. Uh, catch rap. Alright, let's check out what this is. It's a Game Boy game for three bucks. Okay, let's check out the photos here. Huh. Alright, what do you have to say for yourself right here? Mind-bending action awaits you in this classic puzzle game. Cat boy and cat girl have been trapped in an underground labyrinth crawling with monsters. In order to reverse the curse and return to their human form, they must solve all 100 puzzles set out before them. Wow. Push blocks, climb ladders, and dig through loose ground to defeat the monsters and clear each stage. If you make a mistake, simply use the rewind function and try again. You can even take a break um, from the main game to create your own puzzles with the level editor. Whether it is maze building or maze solving, it's up to you to help cat boy and cat girl escape the labyrinth and get out of the curse's reach. One player, puzzle, English, mild fantasy levels. Alright. Uh... Defense of the Middle Kingdom, Bridge, and Escape Trick Ninja Castle. Now, they haven't showed anything, but um, there's supposed to be a Nintendo first party um, tile for the 3DS eShop. And it's supposed to be like an armadillo and a cowboy hat. And uh, you kind of like go in stages and roll, basically, since you're an armadillo. And from what I've heard, the physics and the gameplay mechanics are a lot like Zelda Majora's Mask Link when he's in Goron form. And that was from a lot of people, from what I've heard, one of their favorite parts of the game. And that's going to be basically in a f all, just that gameplay alone is going to be in a brand new game. So stay tuned for a game coming out soon. It's supposed to be from Nintendo. It's going to be like a, like an armadillo and a cowboy hat. I can't recall what it's called, but anyway, extreme hand on the screen. But uh, yeah, just stay peeled. Keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, retail games, nothing really new, really, just stuff we've seen already. Shin Megami, Tensai Devil Survivor, Driver Renegade, and Star Fox 64 3D. So, 
that is basically it for what's new on the Nintendo 3DS eShop this week. Uh, next week we will be doing the 3DS Ambassador games because they will be coming out on the 3DS next week for all ambassadors. And it will be the 10 NES games which start featuring um, Legend of Zelda, Super Mario Bros, possibly Super Mario Bros 3. Uh, we're going to have Ice Climber, all these great games. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to just do a quick walkthrough of all those games, like not like not actually playing all the games fully, but I could just show you a quick walkthrough of how they like each game plays a bit. And, uh, you know, um, see? Have a good day! Oh yeah, and uh, right here, I guess I'll just put up... Uh, anyway, just whatever. See ya.